Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be mowing with our 22 inch Toro recycler. Um, so we're going to be getting some footage of that and then we're going to tell you guys um, basically everything about it and what we think. everyone let's go ahead we want to give you a closer look at this Toro recycler okay so if we go down here I'll go ahead and show you more of the details so there is a Briggs and Spratton engine in this um, we have not had any problems with that um, so let's go ahead um, and talk about the air filters so if we open this up this is where the air filters are um, this is the only thing we don't like about the mower is we have to change these all the time or it won't start and these run about 
$11 at our local farm store, so it does get a little expensive. Um, we haven't really used it that much this season, so it's been okay, but that is the only um, downside to this mower. So we'll go ahead, put that back in. All right, so it is also front wheel drive, so these two will be with the self to propel. Um, this is the area where you will change your mowing height. As you can tell, um, we have it at the highest setting. If you do have it too low for where we are, um, it's pretty short and we don't wanna scalp the lawn too much. Um, next up, it does have a side shoe. We don't have that with us right now, but in the videos, uh, we did use it. We also do have a bagger for this because it does come with the mulching kit. Um, but we don't have, we don't really use it because we don't collect grass clippings. Um, and then that, whenever you do want to mulch, you just take the side chute off, take the bag off, and you're good to go. Um, next, it does have this quick wash. So what you'll do is stick your hose on that, turn it on, and then you'll want to start the mower and it'll um, get the blades turning and wash it that way. We haven't really used it, we haven't really needed to, so that is one good side if you're into um, like the helping of the washing. So next, let's talk about the oil. This is um, supposed to be a no change oil. You just check it and add it. And we've been running this mower for three seasons and we've never changed it or added oil to it. Um, that could be bad, that could be good, but <laughs> we haven't had any problems. It still starts up usually, typically on the first start, um, if not the second. The next thing I do want to talk about are the tires. Those are the only um, things that kind of get broken. Um, on one of these is chipped, I think it might go over there, um, but also that's probably our fault. We are really rough with this mower. It's fallen out of the truck a couple times. As you can see, there are some scuffs, but that's no big deal. Also, this is the mow and stow, so let me go ahead and show you guys that. You probably saw it in the video already, but it just closes and it's super good for storage. It saves up a lot of space. And for us, we used to carry two of these in our truck and it was perfect because it did not take up any space at all. All right, so that is just a quick overview of this Toro Recycler. Overall, we have no issues with it. It's a great push mower. Um, for residential and commercial use. We've used it so many times and literally have not had any problems with it. So let me go ahead, we'll pop this back up and I can go ahead and start it up for you guys. So as you saw, it started up on the second try. Um, once it does get going, going, it will start on the first try. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Also, if you would like to see a review of our Hustler Trim Star or our Hustler Super S, let us know down below. Um, we would love to do a review of those. So 
yeah, again, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and we will catch you in the next one.